Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. This week I want to show you how I created this loose and lively watercolour painting of the seafront at Budley Salterton uh, during rather stormy conditions. So this is Budley Salterton, it's a seaside resort on the south coast of Devon which is in the southwest of England and it's got a pebble beach and in the summer you know it's really quite serene but as you can see rather different conditions and the sea's churning up all of the red uh, rock and red sand in the area so an unusual color scheme as well now if you uh, watch my channel regularly you may remember from a few months ago I actually did four paintings created outdoors down at Budley Salton in the height of summer so this was a beautiful summer's day as you can see really lovely and calm there's one of the paintings I created working from life but today rather windier rather more blowy so I'm coming in initially working back at home too stormy to work outdoors with watercolor onto mixed media paper and I'm just using a paper towel to lift off some of that loose watery initial wash now this is the view I'm actually going to paint so looking down the the road which goes down the seafront there and I'm beginning with no initial drawing whatsoever no pencil lines or anything like that and instead I'm starting out with some loose washes just kind of roughly mapping out where everything's going to go just very simply with big tonal shapes So the sea is kind of an orangey rust red, but I'm just coming in with a, a little bit of a more vibrant red initially. And I'm using the big mop brush, the synthetic mop brush that I got from Jackson's a while ago. So I'm still using that, but now I've switched to one of the art discount, kind of a little bit. I thought I'd pop this in just because it caught me uh, just talking to myself as I painted. I thought that was a bit quite funny. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm back on the art discount synthetic brush here. And that's a little bit of a finer point. But both brushes work really well for watercolour. I really enjoy using both. Um, and one of the things I'm doing, you see, I'm moving my brush quite quickly. And I think that's, generally speaking, a good tip for painting in watercolour. You want to really, you know, put it on quick and then see what happens. And, you know, lift it off if it goes wrong. You know, it, it's, um, it's not that big a deal. But I'm just putting in a few of the little posts here on the seafront to kind of add a sense of perspective to the foreground. And you can see I'm not doing an exact copy of the arrangement. I'm just picking out those key few posts that I want to include and putting them where I think they look good. And the sky that we just saw is rather more ominous and darker than, than what I have in my painting so far. So that first wash is dried and I'm adding on a darker wash now just by rolling the brush across the painting. And again, you know, I'll lift off some of that with a paper towel and move it around a bit. Now the south coast of Devon has these very characteristic red rock cliffs. So again, I'm enhancing the red on the cliffs compared to what I had before, keeping my brushwork nice and loose and kind of letting the drying marks within the, within the paint create some automatic texture for me. Big sweeping brush strokes again for the pebble beach. Now, of course, when we're there, you can see individual pebbles, even if you're standing up high like I was. But for the painting, we don't want to worry about any of that. Just put in some sweeping lines to capture the, the bigger regions of tone. And now I'm making the sea a little more orangey, like I mentioned before, and enjoying the different effects I get with the layering of one colour on top of another. And that's one of the great beauties of transparent watercolour is you can get all these colour mixing effects. So I gradually start working around the whole painting now, adding more and more detail here and there but very selectively so for example with the car there I just added a few uh, little bursts of colour like the the brake lights on the back made the sky, sky even darker on the right and on the foreground of the pebbles which I was just laying in then now there's a little patch of green there as well and I thought it would be nice to include that on the edge of the pebbles to contrast with the reds adding some shadows in the foreground and just a quick indication of some lampposts and pedestrians on the pavement. To be honest, those pedestrians are little more than quick marks. They're barely even figures, but it adds a sense of depth because the eye just quickly looks and assumes they're people. A few other details like upturned boats, which are lying on the pebbles and a little more texture in the rock face. So 
I'm kind of working around the very loose painting that I put down initially and then just tightening up certain areas, but just here and there. So, for example, with the buildings I'm working on now, I haven't copied the buildings as they are. I've just picked out a few buildings and picked out a few windows here and there to give the sense that there are buildings on the hillside. And I wanted to loosen up those posts a little as well, so that's why I went back over those and darken the shadow on that car. So the watercolour aspect, you know, I've got maybe three or four layers of paint perhaps in some areas and just one layer of paint in others. And the, obviously the trick is to leave bits here and there. But the sea, you know, on this day, it really was this weird rust red. It is quite spectacular to see it in, in real life. Um, and having let the watercolour dry, I'm just coming in with some pure titanium white interactive acrylic just to create some of the white water. Not too much, just a little touch here and there. And then to keep things consistent across the picture, a few white highlights on the railings and a little bit on the car as well. And then I always love this moment when you peel the tape off of a watercolour paper watercolour painting to leave that white board. And that's, a, that's a really nice feeling, I think, that you don't always get um, if you're working on canvas or something like that. So this painting I think I'm going to call the Red Storm. I quite like that idea, or I might call it Red Storm at Budley. I haven't quite decided yet. There's the full painting, which I like. Gives this sort of open expanse of the sea. But I think I actually prefer this slightly cropped version. I think it leads the eye into the, into the scene rather better. But, you know, maybe let me know what you think in the comments below. Which, which version do you prefer? So there's that little watercolour demo done. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.